let me explain again. I'll, re I'll repeat this for you again, Ben. Now, when you do the Thai donut, let me let me change. Okay, let me uh, put the. Uh, give me a second. All right. So uh, position myself. All right. So let me explain this again for you, Ben, so you can understand me. You're starting to get it. You did the the tightest, the smallest donut, but again. You see, you're more favorable with the steering. Um, you mm. do way smaller range changes with the steering than mm. the pedal itself. So the throttle. <clears throat> so what we're trying to get you to understand now is that you can do more with less. So when, I, when we initiate and we ramp up here, uh, you need this big angle obviously to help you come here, right? And then you yeah. do very little change on the pedal to get the car to turn. Very little change. Room, room. Makes sense. So what you didn't understand is that you don't have to drop like this or like when you turn, you, you drop and turn too much. You see how it's whipping the car? So what mm -hmm. I want you to understand is that when you see, I'm going to put neutral, uh, watch, watch my pedals. You see? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... I didn't so exactly, I just didn't have time to watch uh, how much percentages I was on the troll. But let's say I was like about 80, right? So, from 80, I would slowly drop like 10. So the goal is that I would drop like 10, I would keep like a 10% range of modulation, short, very short range. Even 5%, if possible, 5% will be absolutely enough. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. I know you see with your own eyes when you come to the donut right here this is a very goddamn tight place you need a lot of turn right so yep. you see that you have to turn a lot and you instinctively assume that you have to make a big change so you can match this big turn in reality that's not true obviously your grip on the temperature of the the rear tires will obviously make the difference how much you have to put, you know, in terms of a uh, troll. But as I showed you, I'm just gonna quickly initiate so uh, you can see again. When you come here, you have to very, very slightly just move the wheel. You don't even have to do a lot. And like you do very little change. Well, look at look at the troll itself. Look at the troll. And if you forget the wheel, this is what happens. If you remember what happened to you earlier, if you stop moving the wheel, it's just this little balancing act. You have very little movements you don't need a lot why because the reason why you don't have to guide the car too much with the wheel is because you use a lot of troll this a lot of troll you lose the grip because of it on the rear allows you to gain into a big angle and also you control the rotation mainly with the troll so if you decided to go this route using a lot of troll keep in mind again don't don't forget what we spoke about rotation throttle is a big amplifier so you need to turn slightly with the wheel otherwise you apply rotation from here and you apply rotation from the pedal what do you think is going to happen you apply big rotation from both sides what do you think is going to happen spin out. you're yeah you're going to over rotate or uh, either you're either going to spin out or you're going to get into unsustainable weight bigger angle depending obviously on the car how much it can support than what you actually need so does this make sense to you yeah yeah all right so that's pretty much what i wanted to clear about